Good evening, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Delmont TV. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for brand new content. This your boy Gold Mouth Shorty. Let me get straight down to business. Hey, man, we got them No Limit Soldiers in the house tonight. Hey, man, we finna talk about them No Limit Soldiers. We got plenty of time, man. You know what I'm saying? So I want everybody to hit them cash shops, man. Support the channel, man. We finna go all the way in on this one. You know what I'm saying? If you're a No Limit fan, uh, hit them cash shops, man. Uh, Mag Promo, M-A-G-P-R-O-M-O. -O. Let me get straight down to business. Today we finna talk about Cain and Abel, man. It's good news for Cain and Abel, man. They live in luxury like they're in California. But that ain't what I'm talking about, man. They been talking to Silk the Shocker. They finna get on the road with motherfucking Master P, man. You know what I'm saying? The clique finna join forces, man. Cause you know them boys been living live, man. We ain't finna talk about the news y'all already know about them boys going to lay down and being solid the whole time P wasn't messing with them, man. But word is, man, them boys on top of their game and P finna do some more business with them. So, you know what I'm saying? They getting back in the studio. They finna drop another album. You know what I'm saying? They gonna have magic old music on there. They gonna have some features from Matt. They going to have some stuff from C Murder that never been released. You know, they got a whole bunch of stuff in the crates, man, that nobody ain't even heard of that they did independently under Most Wanted. Because a lot of people don't know, just because they wasn't signed uh, to P no more, they were still uh, sneaking off and doing music with people like uh, Fifth Ward Weeby, uh, Fiend. Mr. Servo, you know, everybody still deal with them, you know, dibbling and dabbling, you know, and passing, but none of the music never came out because, you know what I'm saying, uh, them twins want to do their own thing. They want to focus on their own thing. They want to bring back that bounce sound. So everybody that know what I'm talking about, y'all know I ain't lying. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they collaborated with Partners in Crime, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying, ghetto twins, and, and, you know, but none of this stuff never came out, so they got so much music that they just sitting on, and you know what I'm saying, everybody been wanting to know, man, how could I get a song with uh, Kane and Abel, you can't just get a song with them boys, man, them boys make movies now, you know what I'm saying, they doing movie soundtracks, they doing big things, they off in sports management, and they got their money tied in to Bitcoin and stuff like that. Both of the twins very successful. You know what I'm saying? Them boys still flying private planes. They actually doing better than what they did when they was with Master P, man. You know what I'm saying? It was just when they wrote that book, they was talking about some drug lord, and, you know, that dude, they was trying to give him life. So, you know what I'm saying? It caught them up on a conspiracy. These boys went to the feds on their first case. Because I know them boys personally. You know what I'm saying? Them boys really from New York. Then they moved to Hernando County. They grew up out there in Brooksville, the Spring Hill area. Then they moved to New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? They were chilling with Mia X. Way back when, before they even got signed, Mia X was finna put them down. You know what I'm saying? They was finna go up on a whole nother label. You feel me? But P seen something in them, and, and, and he just invested in them. But them boys was already set. You know what I'm saying? They didn't even go by Kane and Neighbor back then. You know what I'm saying? These boys right out the Bronx. From time to time, they go visit Back, you know what I'm saying, where they came from. But, you know, they real low-key, man. Nowadays, you know, they don't really want to look how they used to. They let their hair grow out a little bit. And, you know what I'm saying, they getting fat a little bit. They eating good, you know what I'm saying. But if you know the twins, you know the twins, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you just might see one. But, you know, both of them still be together. You just might see one. But they, boys, stay right there and to each other, man. You know what I'm saying? They can't do nothing without one another, but them boys still ride Phantoms, Bentleys, you know what I'm saying, and they living their life, man, I'm proud of them, 
And you know what I'm saying? They did some songs with Boosie. You feel me? On the independent scale. They was number one song for a few months on uh, BT Uncut. You know what I'm saying? They just made all the right moves independently, quietly. They got their bag and they got out the way. They was one of the first uh, albums. They had one of the first albums over there at Couch Records. You know what I'm saying? They had distribution through them. They already knew what lane to take, what moves to make, and then they got into Hollywood. So now they making movies, man. Before Boosie and all them started making their movies, these dudes was already telling Boosie them, man, you need to make a movie, man. Man, my life is a movie. It's time to make movies. Because they learned all this stuff behind the wall. But put it on, put it in a movie. You know what I'm saying? Because they didn't want to keep the knowledge away from the black man. They know if you want to keep something away from the black man, put it in the book. But guess what them boys said? We ain't going to put nothing in the book no more. We ain't even going to do too many songs. We're going to put it in movies. All this uh, drug cartel and everything, they want to paint the pictures. If we want to talk about it, we'll get actors to do it. You know what I'm saying? To make our, our lifestyle and what we do rich and famous because the feds still watching them boys. They never told on P. P just cut them off. If you go listen to Steady Marvin, you will hear on the song when uh, Steady Marvin is beefing with Master P and it's featuring Keisha Cole. Yes, Keisha Cole made a diss song going after Master P with Steady Marvin. And they was like, man, you abandoned the twins. Why you abandoning the twins? You know what I'm saying? Because P was scared. Because he was hanging with hot boy Jimmy. Jimmy was catching all type of cases. You know what I'm saying? Bodies was dropping. You know what I'm saying? You got Randall. You got uh, Big Boss. You know what I'm saying? None of them cats didn't want to, uh, they stuff to tangle into that. Because you know it was a lot of money coming in. So they ain't want no heat from the feds, man. You know what I'm saying? That dude they was talking about. That dude had over $50 million, and he was a major drug kingpin. You know what I'm saying? So P was really out there in Baton Rouge trying to keep them cats away from all that type of stuff, man. He had to move an hour away, man. And then he put his house in Texas. He just ride out there to Baton Rouge. But he had all them boys in their own section living together. Mr. Servon, Snoop Dogg, uh, Mr. Marcelo. Uh, I said steady mobbing. All of them had uh, a big old property in the gated community, what you would call a country club, but it was all peed them in there. You know what I'm saying? They all had uh, houses, and, and some of them had shared apartments and stuff in there. But, you know, as soon as you came over there, you got your tank, and, and you know what I'm saying, you went right over to Baton Rouge in the country club, and that's where you stayed. And, you know, they had a fleet of cars back then. And, you know what I'm saying, you just wait on your car to come when Pete, you know, give you the keys to your car. Or you just wait and you take a fleet to the studio back and forth. But, you know what I'm saying, the twins was there. When Pete had his first interview, the twins was on Rap City. You know what I'm saying? But they was already going to make it because they was MCs, naturally. They from the Bronx. Then they moved to Florida. And that's how they start getting into the gangs and stuff. And they start selling a little weed, you know what I'm saying, and selling a little cocaine. And then when they got older and they moved to New Orleans, it was up there. You know what I'm saying? It was up there ever since then because they met the plug. You know what I'm saying? After they met the plug, it was over with. So, you know what I'm saying, P came and got them. They already had their money. They already had their jewels. They already had their outfits, everything. Them boys was off in college. You know what I'm saying? They was real smart. You know what I'm saying? They got business degrees. They learned a lot of stuff in the feds. And, you know, P them finna get back with them. They finna make some new uh, deals. And P finna get into some of the stuff that they into. And they finna get in that cryptocurrency. But Silk the Shocker got new music coming out with them. And, you know, they're going to be on tour. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. Peace. I'm out.